Hi guys, Martin from Preact again. Um, in today's video, we're just going to show you how we can use Dynamics 365 within Teams. Um, first thing to note um, from Dynamics 365 point of view, once we've got the integration set up and turned on, you can see we get the little collaborate option in the ribbon. So if I'm on an account record, I can click on here. This will then say, okay, let's get started. It will then ask you which team within your teams you'd like to obviously set this against. So you can see I've got the option of clicking into sales team here. I've got the option of creating a brand new team. So if I just pick sales team for now and click next, that's now gonna go and link this record as a tab within this team. So you can see then when it loads, what it does, it will show you within that team which channels you want to pin this against. So just show you what that would look like from Teams. Um, there's our sales team. And within that, we've got a couple of these different channels. So you get the same options over here. You're just basically saying which channel do you want to pin it to? Or if you want to create a brand new one, then you can. Um, this, this might well be a project. And then you click create a new channel and then you name your channel the name of the project, for example. And all the project managers then can collaborate within this channel. Um, for now, I'm just going to put key accounts here. Click next. Um, add team members, yeah, add me in and add anybody else you want in at that point as well. And then we can add this in. You can see it's then going to go and create this connection to this channel. And then we can see, do you want to open the uh, web version? Do you want to open the version on your machine? Um, I'm just going to open the web version for now. Click on here. And then you can see within Teams, within this channel, you get this um, record that you've just come from pinned in here so you can see we've now got this up here pinned a um, couple of things we can then do against this you can see over here on the right hand side we can then start a conversation so like I said if this is a project or a key account or something like that whatever you want to look for um, it might be that you have certain people that then we need to start collaborating over here and having conversations around this account for example so I could then just you know add a message in here could send this this is in here I might add a file so I can click attach I can upload a file in here as well let's just pick something there you go that then goes against here the same way teams works normally anyway um, stick that in there but equally now this will sit in the files tab up here like so and obviously on posts you then start seeing a bit of a you know every single post has ever happened against this um, so anything that's going against that, as I said, goes into there. Um, the other thing you can do, obviously, is over here, you can see, click Go to Website. So if I click Go to Website, this will actually open up another tab on your machine. And obviously, you can see, then it will take you straight into your Dynamics database and straight onto this individual record if you need to. I keep getting this error message popping up. Um, so that's, that's, that's one thing. That's one thing we can do in there. Um, when we're actually over here, on the key accounts, one thing we can then also do, we can click on the add a tab option over here. We can then pick dynamics from, you know, obviously all these connections and these apps that are available. As soon as we do this, we've got a few more options then as well in here. So we can pick individual accounts if we need to. Um, you can see filter by, and then you can pick the entity in here. Um, you might want to pick a view. So over here, you can click view selection. If I say pick account, you can see one of my views in here is called key accounts. This is every single account that might have had a total spend of over a certain amount. If I pick this and click save, then like we've got the, the account record at the top here, we now have this list of these views. So you can see key accounts now is a, a system view that's being pulled from the Dynamics database into Teams in here. Um, and the same thing applies. You can then obviously you know have your chat option over here on the right hand side, add your files in and you can go and view this. So, you know, quickly from here, you can go into one of these records and you're almost working now within Dynamics window, but within Teams. So if you're sharing your screen and everything else and you're talking over here, collaborative, you're working on this record, we've pinned this. You can do that as many times as you like up here. Um, as I said, you could just go in here and then you can just click it again and then it might be that you want to pin all your open opportunities view or your projects view or whatever you need to do in here. You can just have different tabs across here Obviously these tabs might relate to these different channels over here and you can have as many channels as you like down here on Teams. Um, 
once we've done all of that then what we can do you can see over here we can we can get to the dynamics app as well so if i just put dynamics in here oh i'll put up a spell in it there you go dynamics 365 and then you can see it allows you to open the tab over here equally if i was already on this one i think i've already got this one pinned you can see once i've pinned it and you've already been using it you can see it pops up in here so when we click onto this you can then see it opens up this chat channel and then obviously you can go through and work with it over here as a pinned app equally once you've been in here and you've been working with it if we go across to our chat might be quite useful i don't know if you ever do this anyway but you can click on these recently viewed sort of chats that you've got and you can pin them once you've pinned them they appear in your pin view so typically if you're working with dynamics it's a good way of just pinning this card to the top obviously then when you're in here you can then see the dynamics option in here a couple of things that you can do in here you can click on settings and then you can change the instance so if you've got production sandbox or you've got different instances you need to to flick between you can change that in here if you click on my dashboard this will then just show you and render your dynamics dashboards within teams as well so this is me looking at all of my dashboards that i would typically see when i'm in the database i can then view those in here as well if i need to and then the other option which is really useful is this chat feature here so when we click on to chat you can see what do you want to do it gives you these little pointers down here search show change environment change the app so i could type something like um search uh, john push enter it's going to search the database and it's going to tell me very similar to how you use universal search in dynamics there's 30 records with the value john in there somewhere for contacts two leads four accounts two opportunities if i click on the accounts you can then see down here below this it will show me those four accounts it's now showing me these four accounts down here and then i can click into one of these again i can click on this one and then you can see the bot will just give us a little insight into this so we can see some preview details around this account the spend the owner all this other detail in here um, if you want to see the contacts that work for this organization you can click on here if you want to see how many opportunities they've got as well you can click onto this and it just shows you those those records down here equally you can click on showing or opening dynamics 365 and it will do the same thing as what we did when we clicked on the pop out show the website just loads in another tab on your browser on the top here and it takes you to that individual record as well that's really useful and then other things that you can do is something like um i don't know uh, my open leads for example and we can search for that it will then pull up you can see a list of all of these views and leads open this week last week everything else like that it might very well be that you want to say well show me all opportunities that are closing this month or something like that and it's just going to go away talk to the bot and then the bot will return these results so again it's, it's quite useful if you're in here just to do this so there you go there's all my opportunities that are going to be closing based on my open opportunities view there's 130 opportunities closing this month of course then i can go into these click into each one of these i can then view this within here or i can click on the open in dynamics option again that you can see there it's telling me that's that one it's linked to this account and then i've got the option of going straight into that and then working that opportunity in dynamics close the tab down and then i'm back where i was as well previously um, I think that's most of the features that we've uh, been using um, and our clients have been using when they've been using Teams and Dynamics together. Um, yeah, any other questions, please feel free to get in touch. But other than that, thanks for listening, guys. Take care. Have a good day.